the rumors are true. Captain Britain is finally landing in the MCU, and we just got our first look. Is that Henry Cavill wielding the Amulet of Right? And is that RDJ back in the Marvel game? This trailer is packed with questions, and we are here to break it all down. Was Brian Braddock recruited by a familiar face? What other worldly threats is he facing? And most importantly, can he live up to the legend? We'll be dissecting every frame of this epic trailer, looking for clues, spotting easter eggs, and theorizing what the future holds for Captain Britain and the MCU. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been steadily weaving the threads of the multiverse saga since the conclusion of the Infinity Saga. From the dimension-hopping adventures of Loki to the alternate realities explored in Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Phases 4 and 5 promise to delve even deeper into this exciting narrative concept. While Phase 4 offered glimpses of alternate realities with Loki's variants, the return of Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man and the Illuminati of Earth-838, a major multiversal team is yet to fully materialize in the MCU. Here's where Captain Britain and his corpse enter the picture, presenting a unique opportunity to bridge the gap. The multiverse concept presents a vast storytelling landscape, allowing for fresh takes on established heroes, unexpected crossovers, and the introduction of entirely new characters. However, with this vastness comes the need for a central team to maintain order and protect the integrity of the multiverse. Rumors abound about the potential arrival of multiversal teams like the Council of Raids, but one of Marvel Comics' most significant multiversal groups remains untapped, the Captain Britain Corpse. While Captain Britain, typically Brian Braddock, might not be a household name for casual MCU viewers, his comic book history boasts a strong foundation for inclusion in the cinematic universe. Debuting in 1976 as Captain Britain No. 1, the character initially hailed the mantle of Captain Britain, not Captain America. However, his true multiversal significance unfolded in 1984's The Mighty World of Marvel No. 13 with the introduction of the Captain Britain Corpse. Founded by the legendary sorcerer Merlin, his daughter Roma, and Sir James Braddock, Brian's father, the Captain Britain Corpse stands as a multiversal peacekeeping force. Each member hails from a different reality, drawing power from a mystical matrix anchored to the British Isles across dimensions. These diverse heroes act as the ultimate guardians of the multiverse, ensuring the stability of the gateways between realities. This diverse group could swoop in to address threats that endanger the very fabric of reality, ensuring that gateways between worlds remain secure. The beauty of the Captain Bread and Corpse lies in its inherent connection to the multiverse. While other heroes might struggle to navigate alternate realities, the Captain Bredens possess a natural affinity for this interdimensional travel. This characteristic allows for a potential MCU Captain Breton, perhaps Brian Braddock or even his twin sister Betsy, who also takes on the Captain Breton mantle in the comics, to seamlessly integrate with the corpse, bridging the gap between the MCU's prime reality, Earth-616, and the wider multiverse. By introducing Captain Britain and the Captain Britain Corpse, the MCU could establish a powerful and intriguing multiversal team. This team's arrival would not only add a new dimension to the ongoing narrative, but also offer exciting possibilities for future storylines and potentially pave the way for the introduction of other multiversal heroes and concepts. The Captain Britain Corpse presents a compelling opportunity for the MCU to truly embrace the vast potential of the multiverse saga offering a unique team of heroes to safeguard the very fabric of reality. The mantle of Captain Britain isn't held by just one hero, but by a remarkable trio. First, there is Brian Braddock, the most well-known Captain Britain. Then comes his twin sister, Betsy Braddock, followed by Kelsey Leigh Kirkland. While these characters aren't identical copies, they all possess the potential to seamlessly integrate into the live-action MCU. Eagle-eyed fans might have noticed a potential easter egg in Avengers Endgame. During Steve Rogers and Tony Stark's time travel mission to 1970s Camp Lehigh, Peggy Carter mentions that Braddock hasn't checked in recently. This cryptic line could be a sly hint towards Brian Braddock's existence in the MCU. The comics depict Brian acquiring the Captain Britain mantle after a near-fatal motorcycle accident. Perhaps his MCU absence stems from a similar incident. 
Alternatively, Peggy's statement might refer to Brian's father, Sir James Braddock, who plays a crucial role in the Captain Britain Corps within the comics. Regardless of the specific interpretation, this mention sparks intriguing possibilities for Brian's future as Captain Britain, potentially arriving in Phase 4. The introduction of Captain Britain could also pave the way for the X-Men in the MCU. In Marvel Comics lore, Brian Braddock was the original Captain Britain for the primary universe, Earth-616. Interestingly, his twin sister eventually took up the mantle after Brian's defeat by an alternate Captain Britain. Betsy's tenure as Captain Britain, though brief, included a pivotal battle against the villain Slymaker that resulted in her losing her sight. However, being a mutant, her story continued. Betsy transitioned into a prominent member of the X-Men, adopting the codename Psylocke. Her mutant abilities include telepathy and the manifestation of psychic weaponry. Fox's X-Men film franchise previously portrayed Psylocke, played by both Ming Na Wen and Olivia Munn. With the X-Men rights now in Marvel Studios' hands, the opportunity arises to introduce a new iteration of Betsy Braddock alongside Captain Britain. Betsy's brief stint as Captain of Britain and the comics offer a unique opportunity for the MCU. It allows for the introduction of the Captain Britain Corps within the context of the multiverse saga, while simultaneously granting Betsy the depth and development she deserves. This is especially important considering the mixed reception towards her previous portrayals in the Fox X-Men films. By introducing Brian and Betsy Braddock, the MCU can not only build upon the Captain Britain legacy, but also potentially set the stage for the X-Men's long-awaited arrival. Their inclusion adds a layer of complexity to the multiverse narrative, while also offering a chance to give a beloved character a fresh start within the MCU. The sprawling multiverse saga unfolding in the MCU seems like the perfect platform for the Captain Britain Corps to make their grand entrance. After all, their core function, safeguarding the multiverse, aligns perfectly with the current narrative. Adding fuel to the speculation fire, rumors have recently linked former Superman star Henry Cavill to the role of Brian Braddock. While nothing has been officially confirmed, excitement reached a fever pitch after Cavill's departure from the new DC Universe project under James Gunn. Interestingly, Cavill himself is a self-proclaimed Captain Britain fan. Upon seeing fan art depicting him as the character, he expressed enthusiasm for the idea. He even referenced Chris Evans' modernized portrayal of Captain America as inspiration for his potential approach to Brian Braddock. However, at the time of these remarks, Cavill remained under contract with Warner Bros. Now, with his DC chapter closed, the door is wide open for him to take on the Captain Britain mantle. This potential casting could prove to be a perfect fit for the MCU. As phases 5 and 6 unfold, the possibilities for Captain Britain Corps' appearances become even more tantalizing. They could potentially receive their own dedicated project in Phase 6, much to the delight of fans. Additionally, sharp-eyed viewers might want to keep an eye on British actress Olivia Colman's role in the upcoming Disney series Secret Invasion. Her character could hold a connection to Captain Britain, especially considering the Corp's significant role in the British storyline of Marvel Comics' Secret Invasion event. Another intriguing prospect lies in Captain America New World Order. This upcoming film could subtly pave the way for Captain Britain's debut alongside the MCU's new Captain America, potentially setting the stage for the formation of the Thunderbolts. While the timing might favor Brian Braddock's MCU debut as Captain Britain in Phase 6, culminating in a grand crossover with the Avengers to cap off the multiverse saga, one burning question remains. Who will ultimately don the iconic Captain Britain suit? While Henry Cavill might be a fan favorite for Captain Britain, the MCU is known for its unexpected yet perfect casting choices. So what if he pursues another role like Cyclops? Fear not, there are a plethora of talented actors who could embody the hero. At the top of my list is Charlie Hunnam. His background in Arthurian mythology from King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, positions him perfectly for the role. Beyond that, his physical resemblance to Captain Britain, from his sharp features to his broad build, is uncanny. Hunnam's acting range is undeniable. He's delivered powerful performances that showcase both the heroic and the brooding sides of a character, evident in his portrayal of Jax Teller in Sons of Anarchy and King Arthur himself. His versatility extends beyond action roles, as seen in his sophisticated portrayal in The Gentleman. Hunnam's ability to embody the complex nature of Captain Britain makes him a strong contender for the mantle. 
that's all the speculation we have time for on the Captain Brennan trailer. What did you all think? Did Henry Cavill embody the legend of Brian Braddock? How about the surprising appearance of Robert Downey Jr.? Leave your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you're hyped for Captain Brennan to join the MCU.